all right hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you today our topic is going to be short and simple uh, there is tons of uh, articles written by Muslims and uh, many as of a graphic uh, design uh, to give us a special design about who the Muslims believe he is the Prophet of Allah and all those designs they try to give us an image that Muhammad was a romantic person merciful nice loving giving he is the most wonderful man ever he is the dream of every woman he is a person who God did not make anyone like him this guy is the Superman in reality but how truthful what Muslims they try to present to us is it really true or all of it is nothing but a lies and fabrication to fool you this is a short video I'm not going to stay for long speaking about Muhammad otherwise I can speak until tomorrow or next year or even 10 years from now the Muslims when they make a graphic and the graphic present to us certain images they are assuming that you people are a bunch of stupid people and you will not go and check it out so today I'm not going to waste your time I'm going to check out a little bit of the graphic Muslims they present to us this is an example of what Muslims they say the Prophet Muhammad instruction to soldiers wear war ethical code first of all why the Prophet even killing people you idiot I mean you just admitted that he attacked people in their houses the Prophet of Islam he said the three letters to three nations never attack him never even invade his land saying convert to Islam or else the Roman the Persian and the Ethiopian we start with the first lie you see I'm not going to cover all of them because if we cover a few of them we cover all anyway all right like didn't destroy building be good to prisoners Allah uh, always keep a promise Muhammad keep a promise Muhammad even he take an oath he said in the Quran take you know don't like if you take false oath Allah will not take you accountable Muhammad he promised in the chapter of at tahrim he will never have sex with his slaves and then he made the verse that Allah says to him break your oath and have sex with the slaves don't kill an animal except to eat what a lie I mean your prophet he said go and kill the lizard he is the enemy of Allah even the lizard kill the black dogs isn't it your God so let us go and see let us start with the biggest one don't kill women is that a true is that a true let us see It's reported in the authority of etc 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 the prophet when he was asked about women and children of the supposedly the pagan being killed during the night right he said they are from them which means it's okay they are from them Sahih Muslim hadith number 1745 a so they are from them they are asking him is it okay to kill women and children when we are attacking our enemies he said they are from them. He did not say no, don't kill them. Let us continue. What is second in the graphic? Now this this hadith here proved killing any uh, can even uh, kid, children and women. Uh, what about this one? As an example, I was just showing you an example just to show you the lies of Muslims. No woman of Bani Quraiza was killed except well, by the way, do you know what he did with those women? He raped them all, he took them as sex slaves no women were killed so they were not killing women because they are nice they were not killing them to take them as a slaves the old ones for the kitchen and the young one is for sex no woman of Bani Khuraida was killed except one she was what what she was doing what her guilt what she what, what what the crime she commit she was with me who's talking Aisha the wife of Muhammad this is a read witness was with me talking and laughing on her back why she is talking and laughing her back and Billy because she is she went mad the filthy prophet he killed all her tribe in the graphic here he said that you should not kill the prisoners there is a verse in the Quran saying Allah he says to him be good to the prisoners be good to the prisoners Allah in the Quran says to Muhammad leave no prison take no prisoners 
and the story in the front of us is just an example of that Muhammad he killed all the tribe they are his prisoners he cut you see he is killing them one by one the women she is going crazy she is laughing not because she is happy she is going mad seeing her family being slaughtered one by one read with me carefully uh, talking and laughing on her back Billy extremely while the message of Allah was killing her people with the swords he was doing what he was not those those are not war this is not a war those are prisoners actually they surrendered themselves they you know they trusted Muhammad the filthy Muhammad and they surrendered themselves and what he was doing he decided to kill them all actually they offer him take our money and kill us but let, let our women our children go he refused suddenly a man called her called her name he said where where is this where is this woman where is one huh so he grabbed her and he cut her head she said then the man took her one of the muslims took her and he beheaded her I should say it. I will not forget that she was laughing extremely Although she knew that she would be killed the women she want to die. She don't want to live no more Do you see the mercy of Muhammad and his followers and The graphic they try to present to us is nothing but a joke Don't kill animals your prophet even a poor dog he ordered him to be killed all dogs need to be killed what a bunch of liars do you muslims have a shame don't kill don't kill animals hmm. let us see <laughs> you know sometimes it's hard to believe how how big the lies of the abdul don't kill animals unless you want to eat okay do you eat dogs do you eat dogs huh Your prophet he told that the black dog is an as a as a as a devil. However, he ordered to kill all dogs. And then when people they say to him, We need dogs, man, we need dogs to guard us, we need dogs to, to hard for us in the for, for in the field. You know, we are shepherd, this is what how we live. Then he changed his mind. He said, Okay, except the dogs, which is the harding or the one who is protecting the livestock. Malik created to me from Naif ibn Abdullah ibn Umar that the messenger of Allah may Allah beep and grant him beep you're right order dogs to be killed why you just say to us in the graphic here you liar the prophet says don't kill animals unless you accept to eat you see how they lie this is why I say to you, don't ever. You cannot. You cannot learn about Islam from Muslims. Muslims are, you know, they are a, 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 a media center of lying. How we can trust a Muslim making a graphic about like this? Can you? Even the poor lizard is an enemy for Muhammad. Muhammad he ordered his followers that the one who kill a lizard, Allah will give him an extra, extra, extra reward. Why? Why? It was narrated from Ummu Shar Sharik that the Prophet S.A.W. told her to kill the house lizard, okay? And what he did, he actually he said that if you kill a lizard from etc. etc. head, Allah will give you etc. etc. reward. Why? Why they lie? Why they lie? The Prophet said, the Messenger of Allah said, this is not me. Whoever kill a house lizard which one, with one blow will have such and such reward, which means Allah will reward him. Can you tell me for, for the sake of your, your pagan God, for your black stone, why if you kill a lizard from the first blow, Allah will give you a reward? I mean, what you accomplish to mankind. It's a poor tiny animal. What exactly your prophet and Islam and Allah will accomplish from killing such a tiny you know, a creature? What exactly the point of killing this lizard? 
Hmm? Allah wanna kill this poor little tiny animal and he promising you an extra reward if you kill him from the first blow why but what make it more funny they make a graphic of it the prophet says don't kill animals unless you wanna eat your prophet he kill people what about animals so you are telling me he like to kill people but he don't like to kill animals <laughs> I mean, it's amazing how they fabricate and how they try to fool people. Graphic, and you know, they, and you know, the funny about the Muslims, all of them they support their lies. It's not like you know other other religions, like you know Christians they don't care. Like now I make a video, how many people will share it? Nobody. Muslims, you make a graphic about Islam, every Muslim share it, and then every donkey in the Western world will believe it. Because this earth is full of donkeys and nobody want to read no more. People just, just copy paste. How many of those who saw this graphic, nobody asked if this is true or not? Don't kill an infant. We just showed you that it's you can kill children and you can kill the women. Don't cut the trees. Is that a true? Let us see. Let us see if this is a true or not. Don't cut the trees, right? Okay, let us see. Hmm. All right, let us see. Don't cut the trees. Uh, the prophet said, the mosque was built and etc. and and in the land of Bani al Najjar, which contained the crops, palm trees, and graves and etc. etc. The messenger say is A W said. Sell it to me for some price to the people of Ainajar, Ainajar. They said to him, We do not want any price. The palm trees cut off and the crops removed, and the grave of the disbelievers dug and opened. The Muslims they say in their graphic here. Uh don't what don't cut a tree he cut the trees uh, don't destroy a place of worship isn't it the Muslim they say to us that uh, the prophet he destroyed 365 idols around the Kaaba <laughs> and they speak about it day and night uh, uh, what else uh, don't me, uh, m m mutilate a body uh, what, what, what is the, what are you talking about the prophet did that are you sure let us see let us see my friend chapter 5 verse number 3 it's an order in the Quran to torture and to kill people before they die and after you torture them this is a story supposedly about a bunch of guys they stole some animals according to the Muslims remember this is the Muslim story and they killed the shepherd and run away Muhammad he got them back what he did Remember in the graphic it says here, hmm, be good to prisoners. So let us say Muhammad, he went and he got them as a prisoners. And those are criminals. Those are not like the, the Jews who he killed them for no reason. It's not the same as the Jews who, who, who chopped their head after they became prisoners. Those are criminals. So let's see what he would do with the criminals. What he will do? He will be good to the criminals? I mean, okay, he will punish them. But are you going to be good to the prisoners? Let us see. Muhammad, he captured them. They are, they are arrested. The police of Allah get them. So what he did to them? Muhammad now is having fun. He have an order from his God to do the following. They shall be slaughtered or crucified for or have their hands and feet cut off on opposite side that their right hands and left feet are be banished so what what he did look what he did muhammad he crucified him and if you read actually if you read the the, the story in details you will see how muhammad even he put nails in their eyes read with me 
you see it's all of it it's in the front of you in the story if you go in if you want to see more details you can you can read here and Allah messenger uh, he did the following okay where it speak about their eyes just I want to show you how he put nails in their eyes I mean the, the Prophet is amazing person amazing person I mean who can be like Muhammad are you kidding me all right what Muhammad he did the messenger of Allah Allah bless him and give him peace sent after them and when they were captured and he brought them he cut off their hands and feet and gogged their eyes and he left them die slowly watching them I mean do you see how the Prophet of Allah he treat his prisoners nicely if there is a person who killed a person kill him if the punishment is death what is that this is not kidding this is torture crucifixion is torture putting nails in the eyes is torture cutting hands and feet and people die slowly is torture this is not a punishment of death this is a guy who watch a lot of horror disgusting movies and he is the founder of them If a person kill a person, the punishment is death. We get that. Why you are putting nails in their eyes? Did they put nails in their his eyes? Why you are cutting their feet and their hands? Did they cut the feet of the guy? No. Why you are crucifying? Did they crucify that guy? No. Yet they make a graphic for us, lying about everything in it. Forgive and release captive. The prophet he took captive and you rape them why you take them captive and then you want to release them actually the prophet he did the opposite if we go and check the story of Bani al-mustaliq or uh, there's tons of stories of rape <laughs> release her. you know islam legalize slavery Normally, slaves Muhammad he have and he did not release. As an example, Bilal, a very famous Muslim slave. What Muhammad he did to him? Did he release him? Huh? Read with me carefully. The message of Allah B P U H made an attack of Bani Al Mustaliq when they were unaware. The poor people they are not attacking anyone. They are living by themselves. They were busy with their animals. Poor people. He attacked them when they are unaware. He killed all the men. You know what he did? He killed the men who were uh, lighting and took the women. I don't know what he mean by lighting. Maybe he, he mean uh, fighting. And took the women and the children as captives. But they said to us in the graphic, you know, the prophet said, release the slaves. You are making slaves. Those people are free people. Why you take the women and the with the children? What, what do you want? What do you want from the women, the children? He take them as a property. But in the graphic, they say to us the opposite. Can you find one thing in the graphic of the Muslims? Is it truthful? Not a single thing. Not a single thing. Don't destroy uh, the worship places. Aren't you Muslims? You keep saying to us. And we mentioned that already. The Prophet he destroyed all the 365 idols around the Kaaba. <laughs> uh, don't kill a priest not fighting you. I mean, a priest is fighting. So, you, 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 what about killing the one who is not a priest? And you know, wh where you get this uh, not to kill for a priest? I mean, can you show me in the Quran? It says, kill the Christians, and the Christians is including the priest. When the Quran in chapter 5, verse number 51, says that you go and you kill the Christians. Huh? 
is the priest are of the Christians or they are not considered what do you think I mean it is amazing how much they lie I want to show you what Muhammad he said about the Christians specifically the Christians and the Jews we go to chapter 5 verse uh, let us say go to chapter 9 actually chapter 9 verse 29 all right what Muhammad he said kill anyone who don't believe in Allah and the last day and his a prophet who are they those people it's us so what is the war of Islam all about isn't it about killing those who don't believe in Muhammad you see here the translations fight in Arabic it says the word qatil which means fight and kill which means this is a fight to kill not fight by shoes kill those who believe not in Allah nor the last day nor that hold forbidden so if you don't forbid pork we kill you if you don't forbid uh, anything muhammad he forbid we kill you which has been forbidden by allah they want to enforce islam on you and if the funny in the in the graphic they say to us don't force religion and they say to you there's no conclusion in religion that verse was not for not forcing non-muslims it was about the opposite there was a group of people who Muhammad he said that they are not allowed in their children to join Islam so he said there is there is no the info there's no enforcement in religion but as you see he is fighting you until he kill you or either you convert or you or you die until you fight them until what from who you kill who the people of the book for those who do not know who is the people of the book it's us the Christians and the Jews until until what until they pay jizya with willing and submission and feel themselves subdued which means humiliated why we have to do that because we refuse to accept Islam so either we die or we pay he's a gang it's a mafia we will let you live and the Muslim the funny the Muslim they will say to you oh you pay jizya because we protect you protect you from who from us <laughs> you know we protect you my friend I mean come on we protect you from us Can you believe it how many lies they have in their small graphic? The Quran says it clearly in many places that anyone is not a believer, he is the enemy of Allah. And the Quran explain why they should be killed and even to kill their priest. Why? Because they took their priest and rabbis as Lord instead of Allah so the Quran accusing the Christians and the Jews that they're accepting their priest as leader instead of accepting Allah so what we do we kill them all Muhammad he said clearly that I am going to expel all the Christians all the Jews from the Arabian Peninsula where is the one who speak about peace why you want to expel people from their land why imagine we I make a statement right now says we have to expel all the Muslims from New York the Muslim they will say oh how racist how disgusting we will take him to court this is your religion as we speak today not a single person in Saudi Arabia is allowed to be a Christian. Even if you convert to Christianity, you are not allowed to say you are a Christian. Why? Because they are keeping the promise of the faith in Muhammad. That is the truth. The funny, the Muslim, they say to you, do you know that the American, they took the land of the Indian? Well, this is our land. I am an Arab Christian. This is my land. You took my land from me. This is not your land. You took our land and you forced us to pay to live in our land. In order to survive. Or we will be killed. Just to make it short. If we go and check Islamic interpretation you see we don't like to give you a statement of our own we don't like to give you our own opinion nothing i said until now 
is it from my own everything you see in the front of you it's coming from Muslim books Muslims translation I have nothing to do with it the Muslim have a duty and the duty is to kill anyone is not accepting Allah and if he is a Christian or a Jew only he have an option to live if he pay money in order to survive look what Muhammad and look what the Muslims believe and this is what they teach in every school Islamic school and feel themselves subdued what does that mean this I mean this is will be your compensation for a closed markets and that you feared would result therefore blah blah blah, blah read okay now he said let us go to the to more to more uh, details the order to fight the people of the scriptures until they give the jizya all right fight against them those who don't believe in Allah nor etc he repeating the same question the same topic all right now he says therefore he's explaining now when the people of the scriptures disbelieve in Muhammad they had no beneficial faith with in, in any messenger or that what the messenger brought the other they followed their own religion or their religion because of this confirmed uh, com, uh, 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 conformed with their ideas lost and the ways of etc now this is because all of this okay what will happen now because all of this hmm? he explained now this is Ibn Kathir the biggest scholars of Islam for fight against them which means you kill them and then he continues saying okay what we will do with them this is an order revealed with the order to fight the people of the book after pagans were defeated so Muhammad now he killed all the pagans now he that that the turn is for the Christians and the Jews the people entered Allah and religion in large numbers How, why they are entering in large number because uh, uh, Muhammad he became victorious and people they want to fe fear their for life convert or else so people they came in 1000 by tens of thousand they enter Islam Muhammad won the war and the Arabian Peninsula was secured under the Muslim control uh, so now we have to kill all the Christians Allah commanded his messenger you see before he did not command him now the Arabian Peninsula is secured which means there's no danger from the Christian the Christian and the Jews are minority it says in the front of you it's secured under the control of the Muslims Allah command his messenger to fight the people of scriptures Jews and the Christians in the ninth years of the Hijrah and he prepared a, a, an army to fight the Roman the Muslim decide to you the Prophet he never attack anyone he defend himself he prepared an army to fight the women the Romans sorry <laughs> and called for jihad announcing jihad and we remember where Muhammad he said kill the Roman and so you can get the blondie girls all right and here he explained to us why we have to pay jizya is to force us to convert to Islam pay the jizya Allah said until they pay the jizya if they don't choose to embrace Islam with willing and submission in defeat this is not a tax as the Muslim tried to fool you and feel themselves subdued do you need to feel subdued when you pay tax disgraced humiliated do you see it this is not tax this is a lie and look and the Muslims are not allowed to honor the Christians and the Jews the people of the Dimma which mean the Christian and the Jews or elevate them above the Muslims which Muslim would mean Muslim are not allowed to respect us for they are miserable disgraced humiliated and the Prophet said if you meet any Christian or a Jew in the street the Prophet said don't initiate salam to the Jews and the Christians and if you meet any of them in the road force them to the most narrow alley what does that mean in the old days used to have an, a, a, a narrow sewage in the side of the road so when a Muslim you see how nice Islam is when a Muslim walk in the street he forces you to walk in the sewage this is the teaching of the peaceful Prophet peace upon him the Muslims make tons of a graphic about a bunch of lies not even one of it is true Muhammad is a rapist, criminal, killer, thief, liar, cheater. He cheated in his wife. He cheated in everybody. He is a, the most disgusting creature ever. Yet the liars, they try to present him to us as a good person. I advise you, all of you, to download my videos if you don't mind. If you care, I know most of you don't care. 
I know most of you will care only if there is a girl she is showing her skirt especially if you are a Muslim they like to watch this kind of videos I know that most of people are really they are diff in different galaxy they don't care what we talk about but what we are talking about is going to harm you in the future you today you pay a big amount of your salary in your tax to the government for security because of this cult you today you stay for three four hours in the airport for security because of this cult you today you spend a lot of money for security and for the department of defense because of this cult this cult is having impact in every country in the world you cannot ignore how filthy and dangerous this religion is yet they make a graphic for you hoping that you are a donkey stupid who will believe their graphic and trust them and think this is true when everything in this graphic is absolutely false don't kill a priest don't betray you know we just showed you how Muhammad he betrayed even the prisoners the Jews they surrender themselves he killed them don't kill animals even lizard even those you want to kill them always keep your promise is that a true is that a true are you sure <laughs> are you sure <laughs> don't keep your promise we did not cover this one hold on let us see even Muhammad he encouraged Muslims to take false oath you believe it have you ever heard of a prophet of God he encouraged his followers to take false oath and he told them Allah will not take you accountable for false oath hmm. <clears throat> Read with me carefully. Chapter 2, verse number 225. Let us zoom out. Muhammad is encouraging his followers even to lie. And by the way, there's a chapter in the Quran about lying. You are allowed to lie. Allah will not call you account of, uh, in a, to account of your tr a truthless oath. Do you see it? Have you ever heard of any prophet? He said to his followers, you can use the name of God in vain have you ever heard of anyone he says he claimed that he respect his God the God himself he says that if you use my name taking oath and this oath is false you don't mean it what is false oath false oath is something you don't mean that is what false oath is I swear by God but I don't mean it that is a false oath so Allah is saying to them you can take false oath and there's no problem with it So we find that everything they have in their graphic is garbage. It is a lie. Not a single thing in their video is true. If you like to learn about the cult of Islam, you can search my books in Amazon.com. Just go to Amazon.com and you know you will find tons of videos about this cult nothing in this cult is it true not a single thing i wish i can play for you some of the muslims words but we don't want to we, we don't want to do that uh, you can watch them you can see how much this religion teaching hate and killing don't take what muslims they say to you for granted be smarter search by your own and you will find that every single thing they said is absolutely false. And it, sometimes it's amazing how far they go with their lies. The prophet he never hit a woman. The prophet never killed the women. The prophet, your prophet is rapist. Is a, even even his followers accuse him of stealing underwear. So what are you talking about? Quran and science and every single word there is a lie read my books and laugh so I encourage the Muslims who don't agree with me to call me when I am live on air so everybody will see who is a truthful who is telling a lie as you see everything I say I show it right away in the screen not a single word I just said it's coming from my mouth it is from your books which is approved by you Muslims
I hope we did uh, uh, we did cover this issue, and I hope that you guys you will download the video and share it everywhere you can. As you know, I'm not keeping too many videos on my channel, and the reason I'm doing that, I want people to download my videos and share it around. Which means if you don't download it, later you will not find it. And later you will ask me where we can find your video, the one you made. I will say, well, it's gone. All right. It's your fault. So download my video. You can change the name of the video you want. You can make a commercial of it if you want. Make money from it. I don't care. You know, put commercial in it from YouTube. Make money. Who good for you? This is not my business. I am allowing you. I'm encouraging you to expose this stupid cult. And by doing that, you are sponsoring yourself. You are not helping me. You are helping yourself. This cult is a threat for all mankind. Name for me one country around the world is not suffering about security, especially about security because of this filthy cult. It's called Islam. From Europe to America to Australia to Canada to anywhere to Nigeria. How many people in Nigeria get killed just yesterday? 27 Christians get killed the day before it. 29 Christians slaughtered the week before it. How many suicide bombing happened today? And how many of them is done by the Jews? How many of them is done by the Christian? How many done by, by the Hindus? How many of them done by the by the by, by the atheists or the Buddhas? Zero. Only by Muslims. And yet there is some stupid people trying to lie to you and says to you, those people have nothing to do with Islam. I remember once many years ago, an idiot he said only 10% of the Muslims sponsor violence. Oh. What? Only 10%? Does that mean that this is a good religion? If 10% are the true Muslims, that's make them, according to Muslims now, they are 1.8 billion as they claim. Next week, there will be 2. billion, 2.5. They, they jump, you know, they, 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 they exaggerate in everything. So let us say they are just 1 billion. That's mean 100 million terrorists. And this is not a big deal. Just if 10% only, it is 100 million terrorists. It's just it just 10%. 10% of the Muslims support the violence only. I mean, that's 10%. <laughs> what about the rest? They are children and women. Anyway, thank you very much for being here, guys. Don't forget to download the video and share it with your friends. And may the Lord bless you all. And this is a Christian Prince says to you have a good day and we might do another video later uh, afternoon if I can but this is now for now just to expose those lies the Muslims they have in their false stupid graphic thank you and may the Lord bless you and keep you safe in good wealth and good health Christ is Lord Islam is false I mean to that and see you soon again bye bye